We're going to start from call as leave and we'll plot them. We're going to have a uh, foot in the shoulder. This foot here, we're going to keep in the shoulder. The reason we're going to keep in the shoulder because if you drop here, he's already he's going to take care of the leg. You know, if you keep the, we, we measured this last week. If you guys remember, for when you do guard, when you work the De La Hivas, when we worked the, last week with the pasture, make sure the leg. The leg stay here is to manipulate. Let's put here, it makes harder. Okay? One thing that it wor to work is uh, if you get inside, if you get inside the, the grip here, yeah, get it like this, switch water, no, grab the pants, yes, you swing your leg and put it in the shoulder. Same. See it? Uh, the outside is not gonna bother you. That's okay. But if you fit his hand inside, go like this, the other way, yeah, boom, switch water away. Especially if it stands, it is, it's, it's harder to, it's easy to swing the leg. But we're gonna have this. Control the call, the sleeve, is that uh, you're gonna pull the arm already, preparing the arm for the omoplata. This, I, you can see I still have my foot in the hip, I'm not taking out the foot yet. I'm gonna turn his arm more, 90, de uh, 90 degrees down. Use my knee against the, his shoulder, this here. Once, it, once I pull him to the side like this, I'm gonna get my foot across his face until my this foot you can meet this one here once you meet this one here and i get a combination of a pull this leg out this is not a hurry as long as i have my foot already across his face I, I, i'm going to create enough space to to pull this leg out and i'm going to cross my feet i'm going to extend my leg i'm not going to figure four if i don't have to figure four look that once i have this to apply a little bit more pressure I, i'm going to maintain my grips and my foot going to be crossed with this outside on top here to drop to help to drop more weight on his shoulder over the side here. Got it? Once I have this, extend and he sit once his head go fall like this, you do to sit. It's easier for you to sit. Okay. I gotta let go of this grip and have the back. Okay. Once I have first side hip, I'm gonna post my hand on the mat, I can't let it go this grip. See that I kept this grip here. Once I have my back on the mat, once I start sit up, I can't let it go because his arm's stuck here. Make sure that, I, of course, if, if I'm like this, I can see his arm come out this way. It's going to affect a lot your omoplata. But once, if I goes like this, holding, once I come this way here, it's harder for him to get up. It's sure. harder for me, excuse me, it's harder for me to posture up. It's harder for me to sit up, but do your best to let it go this and get this one here. Look how I keep my head forward, uh, uh, past my hip already, with my feet cross. Lean head forward, the center on the mat helped me too, okay, to keep my weight like this. This here is not, is not good. If you sit like this, it's very easy for him to just put your back on the mat. Boom. There's less weight on his arm too. But if I, once I go like this, go ahead, or then try. See, it's more weight that I put on. This is leaning forward sure. on the shoulder. Cool? Sir. Let's say that if I get this, you sit up all the way and he posture up. Boom, he posture up. That, this end goes back, and now I'm gonna start thinking about finger for the leg. But, step, but this initial push that you do helps a lot to see how it's gonna react. You know, sometimes you push harder and he's not gonna move. That's okay, boom, you have this. So now you finger four, have the grips to the grips, to the arm cross. But as soon as you get the omoplata, his head's forward, if you kick the leg, he's not setting to posture up yet, it's easier. Right after I get the, my feet crossed. Don't stand, kick your leg straight up. Once you, you cross your feet. This, hold here. I'm gonna scoop my hips as much as I can this way until I get my, my, my legs in the right position to finish him. If I can bring him with me and collapse his hip and put him in the fetal position, a flat of his stomach, boom. It's gonna be really hard for him to not get tapped. He's gonna get tapped. And turn. And this here, you get a hold of the material, you have the call, which is help. If you have, if you're this far here, just need, one thing that you cannot do it, don't raise your whole body. I raise my hip, more, more than I raise my hip, my butt, more I put pressure on his knee. Don't go like this. It's this here. Oh. Got it? Sure. One detail. It's very important. We'll say, start at the beginning. 
Well, we get this, I push. With the combination of pulling the collar of the sleeve, same side, and push the shoulder, the far side, makes it easier to enter the omoplata. Okay. A lot of times you're gonna see triangle turn to omoplata, and sometimes you're gonna see omoplata turn in triangle. We're gonna learn this for uh, this week. But right now I'm just shooting straight for the omoplata. The reason that I'm doing this, and I push his head away. You can see? Uh, boom. Now goes this, again. Heavy in the leg, still hold the, the collar. Let it go first to the sleeve as I'm sitting. Now I let it go this one. Okay, the detail is this. Don't, ex uh, don't expect, it, uh, expect it. Every time that you screw your hip, pull him, you're gonna flat him. Sure. This is not gonna happen too often, okay? Uh, but uh, this arm here helped me to bring this one, but the main reason for this arm in, the big, in this part away is to hold him, make sure it doesn't hold, uh, roll, and sometimes you can even stop him to roll, but this arm is gonna help me to see how he's gonna react in terms of he's gonna fight to stay on his knees, or at one point that he try rolls, he's not gonna roll anymore. You know what I'm saying? If he's fighting here, fight hard as that he can to stay on, uh, on his knees, on, on top, not giving the, the rolling part, it's gonna be tough for him to roll. You understand? But look this, I'm gonna pull the hip, he's gonna stay on his knees. But uh, what I'm doing, even pulling the hips, even if he cannot break him, is uh, make stuff for him to posture up and put my back on the mat. You understand? Once I get this, I'm gonna start moving. I'm not gonna be here waiting, sitting this way. I wanna make sure I scoop my hip to make it easy for me to finish, to get the right angle to finish him, but also to make sure that he cannot, from this point, posture up again. Cool. If it does, if at this collar here, he's gonna he's gonna use a lot of energy. It is it's gonna be very very good for me too. But it's this. Once I get this, is this here. Cool. Get the best grips I can of this side here, and I'm still gonna finish him exactly the same thing. But again, watch this knee go down as my hips go up. It's not like this. Keep the pressure. Cool? Yes, sir. Any questions? Let's go, expert up.